What's up guys, Jordan here with Objective-C Toro's Lesson 20 Naming Conventions. And this will be a real short, brief lesson, uh, just going over strictly some naming conventions in Objective-C. You'll probably be aware of some, but maybe not all of them. Now, first starting it off with file extensions. And a file that ends in .m means that it has uh, the implementation. So it's like the meat of the program. Uh, and if a file has .h as the uh, extension, it declares the class or interface or uh, protocols. So it's the header file. So that's why it's .h. .h for header and .m like implementation. Uh, I kind of went over this earlier, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood that. Now, uh, as far as uppercase and lowercase naming different things, uh, class names, you start with an uppercase letter, and if there's two words in the class name, uh, both or all the words are uppercase. So if there's three, four, whatever it is, they're all uppercase. And there you see an example. And now methods and I bars and things such as that, uh, they begin with a lowercase letter. Then all the words after that are um, capitalized. So there's another example of that. Now you can use the same name for some things in Objective C, such as methods that are in different classes and I bars that are in different classes, and class methods and incident methods. Methods can have the same name, and IVARs and methods can also have the same name. And things that you can't use the same name for. First off, uh, that um, that underscore there. This can only be the beginning of methods that can only be used by Apple. So never name. Uh, or never begin the name of your method with that underscore because that is off limits. And also, define types, global variables, and class names can't uh, have the same name because they are in the same space in memory. So if it's in the same space as memory, it can't have the name because it'll confuse the compiler. But if it's uh, in different parts of the memory, like if, if it's in a different class, it's uh, split off from each other, so they can have the same name. Now, obviously, don't go into Xcode because we haven't learned anything new. This was just kind of a brief, short little lesson going over a few things uh, naming-wise in Objective-C. But uh, we'll be getting into more object-oriented programming next lesson in Lesson 21, so stay tuned. And... Uh, please like this video, comment below, uh, subscribe above if you haven't already, and check out some of my other uh, Objective-C or Mac tutorials that you may not have seen, and thanks for watching.